Hey everyone. All right, here's where the Fed Reserve System gets its money. Number one, from interest on its portfolio of treasury securities. Uh, in other words, uh, the Fed loans the Fed government money and then gets interest on those treasury bonds. Uh, number two, from buying and selling of securities and their derivatives. Number three, from financial services such as check and electronic payment processing and uh, services uh, involving discount loans to banks. Now, as to the uh, QE money, the quantitative easing money, you know, that's uh, uh, trillions of dollars. The Fed buys a lot more treasury bonds. In other words, uh, skipping over the government speak, it loans the Fed government even more money. Uh, you know, when, when countries and other investors and uh, the Fed... Uh, when they buy U.S. Treasury bonds, they're not buying anything. A, a Treasury bond is nothing more than an IOU. Uh, <laughs> what they're doing is they're loaning money to the Fed government. That's what it is. It, it isn't buying anything. It's a loan. <clears throat> now, uh, and of course, they get interest on that on all that money that they loaned to the Fed government. Uh, the Fed ha has uh, trillions of dollars in assets. Now, most profits uh, that the Fed makes are returned to the Treasury. Uh, you know, they're supposed to be part of the government, so <laughs> they should return the money to the Treasury that they make. But not all. Because the 37 banks that make up the Fed system, it, it isn't just the 12 district Fed banks, as I pointed out in the previous video. There's a total of 37 Fed banks, and, and they're all privately owned. That, that's a well-established fact. It was even established in a 1984 Fed court case. Uh, those private banks, uh, you know, they're, they're going to make a profit. Well, most profits are returned to the Treasury, but not all. For example, in, in uh, 2010, the Fed made a profit, a profit over and above expenses, over and above salaries and all other expenses. They made a profit of $82 billion. Now, to their credit, they returned $79 billion. So, so my question is, uh, wouldn't you like to have a business that makes a profit over and above expenses of $3 billion in one year? Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> uh, if you think about that, it seems logical that if the Fed government truly is 100% a government agency, that they should re return all profits over and above expenses to the U.S. Treasury. Not all except for $3 billion. <laughs> okay, thanks for uh, dropping in. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. Uh, I'll see you next time.